So today we're starting on a heated note. A very heated... I am mad, okay? I am so pissed off. And I can't... There is no words to describe how mad I am right now, okay? Because Call of Duty just likes to see fun. Like, Activision's like, oh, look, there's fun over there. Let's fucking ruin it. Sorry. I'm not sorry. That's actually... That's actually... I feel like that is a fact, okay? So... This is... This is the headline today. Call of Duty SM2 project has been shut down. And... I think it honestly has been shut down. Because if I go to SM2... What is it? SM2.gg, I think it was. No. Go back to the thing. My number keys are hooked up to to, to, to that. So, we'll... SM2.gg. So, yeah. It just goes to, to, the, to the Twitter page. Wow. Today, a team member received a cease and desist letter on behalf of Activision pu Publishing... In relation to SM2's project, we are complying with this order and shutting down all operations permanently. Thank you all your for support for the past two. They were working on this for two years. Two. Hold on. Two years. Two. Okay. And guess what? Activision's like, you know what? You know that all that hard work. Fuck that. We're just gonna we're just gonna ruin it in in, in an instant. Okay. Now I am not happy about this, as you can tell. I am very he heated, and I don't want this to sound like a shitting on Activision podcast, but that's probably what I'm going to be doing most of this time. Okay. SM2 was a good project. It was one of the best projects in Call of Duty history, and it's not even a Call of Duty project. You know what? You know what they should do. You, you know what they should do. If SM2 is is willing to do it. They should technically buy them out or give them funding and let them run their own game. That would be the best move for Activision right now. Because I can tell you right now, I got a comment this morning, okay? I, I, I got a comment this morning, and I want you to see it. I don't know the per I can't really pronounce the person's name. I'm, pr I'm probably going to butcher the shit out of this, but, but we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. Jin Jural? Jural? Jit? Whatever, okay? This person's right. We all need to boycott the next COD that comes out. Modern Warfare 2 sucked. Okay, on the last part, I'm like a little, not really 100% on board. But Modern Warfare 2 does kind of suck if you, if, you, if you think about it. I did not buy that. I did not buy this Call of Duty. This Modern Warfare 2, this, 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 the, the second, I did not buy that, okay? So, the new... We do need to buy. We need. We do need to boycott it because they need to be taught a lesson. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Th this is. I'm not. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. You don't have to do this. Okay. You don't. I'm not saying that you should do this. I am not buying another Call of Duty. I am not even. Gonna, I'm not even going to be playing Warzone anytime soon because I don't want them to have my money. I also don't want them to even have my time. Okay. My eyes and my attention. I don't even want them to have that. Okay. That's me being honest. That to me. This is insane. The fact that they were like, oh yeah, we're just going to shut down a project that was pretty much in direct competition with us because they were using our assets. That's one of the excuses that I've heard online. Shut the fuck up, okay? Call of Duty has, stole, have, has stolen plenty of things. Plenty of things, okay? They stole shit from Fortnite. They stole shit from Apex. They steal shit all the time, okay? Don't be like, oh, it's our ad. There is a full community on, on PC, on Steam. I'm pretty, I might be on Steam. I don't know, actually. I haven't used it yet. But I used to always watch the modded zombies. And I'm pretty sure it's like a Steam thing. I'm not, I'm not 100% positive. But there are people that make custom maps on zombies. Custom zombie COD maps. And they haven't shut that shit down yet, okay? And... FYI, okay, it took them how long? Two years, a year and a half, two two years of Warzone being out for them to sh put a cease and desist letter, and or they were suing the stupid um the mod companies, the companies that modded Warzone. They were suing those people, like a year or two later after Warzone came out. After there was just literally from like day five until. Even now, there's like modding for Warzone and even Warzone 2. And they decided they were going to sue them like a year and a half in, two, two, two years in. Granted, it's been two, two years and they've been making this, this game. But my, my point to, to, to this whole thing is like, they wait so long to do everything. It's like, this is something that could have actually have made a difference and actually been great. And they could have acquired it. They could have bought it. This would have been a... Pre and then, and then they, they, they would have had their own separate team that did their own separate shit good 
And that would have probably, that would have probably, I mean, actually, that's probably, they would have, <laughs> SM2 probably would have outshined the next Call of Duty by a landslide, okay? Let's be honest. But I'm going to be honest with you, at, after that, I, I honestly think they, they, they did this because they, they were scared, okay? I, I, I named the video uh, that I made a couple days ago, I named it, SM2 is the Call of Duty killer, because it is. It's the Call of Duty killer, okay? And I'm going to be honest with, with, with you. It's the Call of Duty killer because it would have killed it. It would have destroyed it easily. It would have been something that they wouldn't even have... Of, of, it would have been, been so easy for SM2 just, just to... They, they, they wouldn't even have had to have put out any marketing. They could have given it to like... Tim the Tatman, Nick Merckx, and like a couple other big creators, and bam, it would have been instantly famous. Guarantee you. And they would have they, they would have only have had to have paid probably like with all those creators, let's say they put paid ten creators, they probably would have only have had to have made an, an investment of like maybe two hundred thousand to like five hundred thousand dollars to get like ten or twenty million dollars back. All the original COD players were looking forward to this, hundred percent. They were all, I mean, I'm, I'm one of the people that was like, this is going to actually be a fun game. Like, this is going to be something that we can all enjoy. But, <laughs> you know what I mean? They, they were like, they were like, oh yeah, no, 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 no. Fun? You see that over there? Yeah, le legal team. You see fun over there? Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. They're, we're not, we're not doing fun anymore. Okay. Fun is not for Call of Duty. Fun is for a not Call of Duty game. Okay. The, oh, I'm I'm just oh I'm so frustrated. It's hard to articulate how frustrated I I, I, I am at, at this current moment because it's just like it's like it's like how how could they go two years two years two years the past two years they they let these people go on and do this for two fucking years and then they were like oh yeah by the way you're you're done. That, that is, to me, that is so stupidly arrogant. And and I really hope that somehow this works out for SM2. Who are you again? What a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> what a piece of shit. And he's fucking, he's, yeah. And he's got 708 followers, of course. Of course, yeah, of course. Trash. Fucking douchebag. And of course he's got a, he's got a blue check mark because he because he's this guy has got five thousand tweets. You, you only have seven hundred eight followers. You got five thousand tweets. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I'm with Sierra on this one. Who the fuck is this clown? You got you got two followers, and I'm and, I, and I'm supporting you. I should I should I should follow this guy. <coughs> oh fuck that guy, dude. Can can you cover this? Oh please. A community scam we saw. Oh my god. Dude, what? They thought they could steal assets from Cod all place. Think they would get away with it. Oh my god. Yeah, and he even admitted it. He just admitted it. That they that they stole shit from Black Ops 2. In Black Ops 2. That game stole shit is what is what he pretty much said. Oh my god. I, I, I can't spend too much time on Twitter. I'm going to be honest with you. Because if I spend too much time, time, time on Twitter, I, I lose my shit. Because people just say the dumbest shit on Twitter. The real issue here, okay? The real issue here is that Call of Duty knows. Call of Duty, Activision is, 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 is afraid. They are afraid, okay? And they're also going through a legal battle. Well... I think that's more of Microsoft's, Microsoft's end. But they're going through a legal battle. Okay? And they are afraid that they're going to lose. Okay? And they're not going to be able to sell their company. And this is one of the things that, they start, that they're starting to crack down on. And I think that's one of the things that Activision or that uh, Microsoft saw. was like, alright, let's purchase these, these, these guys. That's probably also why they did a cease and desist or suing uh, the modders. And stuff like that for for their game, for their Warzone game. It's all it's all money. It's all about money. 
I'm telling you right now. It's all about money. But the thing that I really want people to understand is that this is this is a they they were scared. Like they were a hundred percent scared. Okay? And the the fact that that fucking tweet, man, that kid being like, oh yeah, stealing stealing assets from COD. Bro, people do that shit on a computer all the time with that stupid zombie thing. They still haven't shut that down. It's because they can't find them. <laughs> stupid. I'm so mad right now. I, I literally have no words for how mad I am. I I'm trying I'm trying to like I'm trying just like trying to articulate my thoughts without sa- sounding like a complete dickhead. But at the end of the day, man, like Call of Duty is dropping. It is falling off. And yes, 300,000 people, it's probably even less now, but 300,000 people is a lot of people to still be playing that game like Warzone 2. But compared to its first no- numbers, no, nobody's going to keep their first numbers unless it's like that good. Like we had a Buffalo Wild Wings open up here. This is this is a restaurant example. I, I worked in the restaurant in- industry for like seven years, just FYI. So we had a Buffalo Wild Wings open up here and that was packed every single day for... People were actually parking in, like, the Kmart parking lot. Like, there was, like, a few different... It was in a plaza, like, a big Kmart. And I think there's like, something else there or whatever. And, like, they were par- people were parking in other plazas to, like, try to get to Buffalo Wild, 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 Wild Wings and eat. There was, always a, there was always a line out the door, right? This was happening for, I want to say, probably, like... This is when it opened. I mean, I was in college at, 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 at that time, which was, like, 10 years ago. Yeah, shut shut the fuck up. I'm old. Thank you. It was like probably for about three or four months, right? That kind of goes the same for these kinds of games, right? Like they're not always going to retain their, you know, their, you know, their everyday people. Like Buffalo Wild Wings now is packed on like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe like, you know, and then on game days, you know, like still like, you know, fucking sports games days and whatever else. So yeah. Okay. Right. Great. That's good to know. The problem here is, okay, is that Call of Duty is scared because they know that this is going to not be going on for much longer. And I don't know if Microsoft has any say in it yet. I don't think it's gone through yet. I, I, have, I have to do more research on, on, on that to, to make sure. But I can assure you, right, that they are scared of what is coming, of what's going to happen, okay? Um... I, I don't I don't think that Call of Duty well Activision I guess in this case I, I don't think Activision really understands what they just did. Now if we as the original COD players a lot of original COD players are very very upset about this. Okay? A lot of original COD, COD players are. Newer COD players probably don't really care that that much. Because they haven't really experienced the full... Like, if you came in, like, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3 era, like, you don't really know what the fuck Call of Duty actually is. You know what I mean? Like, you you don't... You don't really have the experience to really be like, yeah, this is what Call of Duty... Like, I was playing with their roots, bro. Like, I was playing when they first started. Like, I played Call of Duty... I played the first Call of Duty. Like, the very first one ever made. I played... The one I really got into the most was Call of Duty 2. And then the one I really got my heels dug in too quick... Or for a long time was Call of Duty Three. That was for PlayStation Two was when I was playing it for. So if you haven't been playing those CODs, like you don't really know where they actually originated from. Like they've come a long way from the very first COD until now. Okay. And after I feel like I, again after like Modern Warfare Three, I feel like that they've they just went downhill. I liked Black Ops Two. I don't think it was the best COD. I liked Black Ops Three. I don't think it was the best COD. I, I I think Black Ops 3 was the best zombies because it was like challenging and also had a lot of cool we- weapons and stuff like that and, and, a, and a lot of good maps and they, they remade a lot of the original maps and stuff like that. Um, World at War, nothing really beats World at War, but um, the, the thing about World at War is that it was tough to survive high, higher rounds. I mean I, I mean, I made a video about this a long time ago. It's still getting views. Um, uh, what, 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 what is it called? Uh... 
Cold War Zombies was really easy. It still is. I mean, I think it's one of the easiest z- zombies out there. I mean, you know, people are like, don't use this, don't use that. It's like, well, it's at my disposal, so why wouldn't I use it? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, they're right. But it's like, it's from you from utilizing the stuff that's in the game, it's the easiest game. It's the easiest zombie game out there. Like, it's the easiest Call of Duty Zombies out there. I haven't played Vanguard Zombies. I haven't played... Um, I actually liked uh, the World War II Zombies one, the Call of Duty World War II. Yeah, the one, that shitty one that everyone hates, but it, I, it was probably like the lowest ranked game, but I actually, I actually enjoyed that. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't enjoy the multiplayer, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoyed the zombies more, but people hated the zombies too. Whatever. Um, <coughs> so, I, I personally think that, that Black Ops 3 was the best zom- zombies, and the thing about Call of Duty is that they've just been deteriorating over time, and I think SM2 even was their savior. So they may, they hopefully, if they're smart, which I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that they are, but if they are smart, what they will do, they'll send them a cease and desist letter, and then they will pay them or somehow try to get them onto their side to make a game that is for, that is pretty much under Activision. And they'll just, they'll call it, like, instead of calling it SM2, they'll call it, like, Call of Duty Classic or something like like, like that. That's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what I'm interpreting and, and hoping for. Because if they don't do, 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 do that, then I can, I can assure you, Call of Duty players will, will, will be rebelling. I'm, I'm going to rebel. I am not, I, as, as I said, I am, I am, I, it's hard to articulate what I'm thinking, but, like, I am upset. I am very pissed about what they did to SM2. Because they saw a little guy and they just decided to pick on them. I if your argument is that they have, you know, their their stupid shit, you know, like their like it's their assets or whatever, I, I don't care. That's that's a that's a that is a stupid fucking reason. Okay? People steal shit all the time. People remake games, people mod things. It, it doesn't matter. Okay. The smart thing would have again if they care about money, what the smart thing would would have been to do was to is to bring SM2, the SM2 team, onto their team, and hell, even give SM2 that like their own stake in the company, or like maybe like again have SM2 be their own company, have Activision own fifteen percent of it or whatever or twenty percent. I mean that's a that is a that is a multi million dollar com- com- company, but I think that they're so short sighted now. That they don't see the future, that they don't understand, and that they don't see the future of what could actually happen, and what they could actually do with these ideas, with these people, with this team, in, in SM2. So I think that at the end, at the end of the day, in the long run, they really, they really, sh- they really screw themselves. At the at the end of the day, and I want to finish my original thought. I am not going to buy it, and I, I, I have a feeling that a lot of original COD players, if they're not, if they are not willing to roll over and accept the bullshit that we've just been handed. The, the, the fact that they're just going to try to squash the, the little guy. I can assure you, a lot of their original play, p- fan base and player base is going to go away. The new people that like are like Black Ops 2 and like Warzone and like whatever, those people may stay because they, they don't they don't know what it's like to get fucked hard in the ass with a, with, with a sandpaper condom. And I'm sorry for my graphic language this, this podcast, but it's going to happen. Okay, this is ridiculous. All right. Now, if all the original COD players come come together and we actually decide unanimously, even without even saying it, we're not buying the next fucking COD, they are going to actually be screwed. There's a lot of us out there. There's a lot of fucking 30-year-old dudes, even late 20s, early 40s, 50s, that are not going to be playing Call, Call of Duty for this reason. Because a lot of people wanted... Call of Duty's before Black before Black Ops Two, Black Ops Three. They wanted the guns. They they wanted the fun. They wanted to feel the 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 adrenaline rush of being able to be free again. Not maybe not free, but like just being able to enjoy the nostalgia of COD again. And that's what SMT was going to bring us. And you guys took that away from us, Activision, not my viewers. Okay, so. That's the thing that we have to see. Now, this uh, there's going to be a, c- a couple of different episodes that I'm going to do for this podcast that's going to come up and it's going to talk about how, you know, we need to really fight back and how gaming needs to change and whatever else. We'll get to that, you know, once once the time comes. But at the end of the day, 
I'm going to tell you right right now, if we don't actually start fighting back as, as, and, as a community, as a gaming community, against shit like this, then it's, it's never going to get, like, nothing's going to ever change. So you can sit there and you can make videos. Again, this is not towards the viewers that watch me, unless you're a streamer, unless you're a video content creator. You can go out there and you can make view, you can make videos all the fuck you want about complaining about Warzone, Warzone 2, and how it sucks and whatever else, and how like all of it, it's, it's a money grab. But at the end of the day, unless you stop buying it and or stop playing it, they're never going to change anything. So so if you keep buying shit off of Warzone and Warzone 2, it's, it's, ne you're ne it's never going to change. I honestly would have been so fucking pissed if, and this is this is something that I saw coming, but I would have been pissed if they all of a sudden said, oh yeah, Warzone 2 is going to be its own se 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 separate game, and the hundreds of dollars that you spent on Warzone 1, that's all, that's all gone. It's just going to be stuck in Warzone 1 until the servers get shut down. Now, granted, they can't just like, pull all those assets over. That's not a simple task. I, I also understand game development. Okay. I'm making my own games and whatever else. It's not a simple task to do something like, 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 like that. But the fact that, you know, it's just gone. That's Paul. That's probably also why NFTs and stuff like that are starting to exist. Cause you know, of stuff like that. But anyway, that's a story for a different day. The fact that you spent hundreds, of, again, I, I didn't spend any money on that game. Cause you want to know something? I knew that was coming. I also knew that. I also know that it's, it's BS. That they, you know, they're doing whatever they're doing, you know, um, what, what what is it called? Uh, that they're gonna just like put three games in, into into the same game, and then all of a sudden it's just gonna be done. Like I I also don't know how long Warzone Two is gonna last. So if you spend money in Warzone Two, how long is that shit gonna last? You know what I mean? Fortnite at least is staying forever. Like they're staying. They're not making. They're not making a Fortnite Two. Like they're all just they're building everything. They they redid their engine. They're they're rebuilding everything. And I I don't really like to play Fortnite that much. Even Apex is doing the same thing. They're 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 not making an Apex Two. They're just gonna keep remaking the game and putting more stuff into the game so that like you actually get the value of your money. So it's like at the end of the day, it's like is Call of Duty really worth the money? Like, why would you spend money in Call of Duty if that's if they're just gonna create a new game and then just lose it? Again, we don't know. Warzone two may last two 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 and a half years, and then they make a Warzone three, or possibly, which hopefully will happen for the people that spent hundreds hundred, hundreds of dollars, they'll make a Warzone three. They'll they'll pull in the assets from Warzone one and two into it, and then there you go. There's your money not not wasted. But other other than that, man, like I, it's. I'm I'm at I'm at a loss for words, like how like how how could you do that to your fan base, and then just be like oh yeah it sucks. I don't know. I'm just oh man, I don't know. At the end of the day, yes I am upset, but I saw this coming. Like I I had a feeling that SMT would, that that was going to happen to SM2, and I I was kind of not like afraid. But I just, I just wanted them to make the game, have it out, and then have people really be pissed. <laughs> okay? Have people really, really, really be pissed. Because then that would have changed some fucking minds. But this is too, it was too early in the stages to actually make something. Which is unfortunate. And I, actually, which I'm actually curious really, really, really quick. Um, did, they, did they take down... I can't spell YouTube apparently. Did, did, did they take down their YouTube channel? No, no, they didn't. They still, they're still up, at least for right now. They've got seven videos and 59,000 followers. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, their 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 stuff is still up. No, no, no description. A million views, nice. Oh, oh, one point five million million views. Their their location is is Australia. Interesting. <clears throat> and all, and that's all they had was a, was a, was a Twitter account. Wow. <laughs> Be safe out there. Mm. Yeah, true. I'm definitely going to like that one. That I mean, this is just sad, man. It really is. It's a sad day. You know, a lot this is going to turn into like a nostalgia 
pod- podcast, but it started out with anger. Now it's just reasoning, and then now it's going to turn into nostalgia. Because I'm going to be honest with you, these guys, these guys were it. They they were making change, and that's that's probably one of the things that pisses me off the most is that they were making change. Activision saw saw that and said, "Yep, fuck you. You're not doing that." Okay, <clears throat> they were making something that the fans actually wanted. Don't forget that. Okay, and I hope that I I, I hope. That that they that they turn around and they they're not so short sighted. Act these Activision fucking stupid executives, uh, and, and they and they see that their mistake was not was being short sighted, and then they, they they bring this project back to life and bring it under them, but take no control over it. Just take the revenue. That's it. Maybe not the whole revenue, but you know they could even pay them off. You know what off of uh, sal- salary or whatever. But let's hope that they take some of the revenue. And they they give SM two the SM two team like free free reign. That's 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 the best future I see for this. If you're if people don't see that, you know I'm, I'm gonna be honest. This this is what what is our gaming community come 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 to if that's not a future that 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 you see. I <laughs> it's it you know yeah you know, that's that's really all I that's really all that I have to say on this. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I may have thought of, but I, I'm pissed. So if you enjoyed this podcast episode, please just like it, you know, get out to as many pe- people as possible. We need to, we need to make an army that are, that is willing to stop this BS that is willing to just stop all this stuff. All right. And stop, stop the big corporations from making all these decisions and ruining all the small companies that are actually trying to make a difference. Okay. And I'm gonna end, and I'm gonna end on, on, on that note.